it's good. Thank you. 
awaidu. Nare na koto ma. Maria mai o koto mate ke te tu hono hono tia ki nga mate o te ao. Nga mate huhu o te wā. Irongo ana mātou. Te pupuhi o te hau. Ka huiriko e te rangi. I nga pō. E nei ngā tohu taonga. O te mate. Nga reira moi mai koutou. A hoki mai ki a tātou ngā whakatupura ngō rātou. A te nga koutou. Tēnā koutou, kia ora nama i tātou katoa. A ko te karauna tēnei e mihi nui ake ki a koutou. Ko te karauna tēnei, te mea i tā haingi e o koutou hrinua. Te mea, te kaupapa e kuru e kohuru i o koutou iwi hapu o te wairoa. Tā reira, i tēnei rā, he re mai koutou ki te rongo ki tēnei o tātou minita. Tā reira, kē te mōhio ngā tino piki me ngā tino heke o tēnei kua rahi tino mō koutou o te wairoa. I rongo ana hau ngā kōrero o pāpaora i te tibatanga ko te pūtake ko tā tātou whakapapa. Nā reira kōrua tahi e John me tāmati tō koutou māia i te whakapiri ai tēnei o tātou large natural group in Pea. A hua pakaru e nga kupu. Engari, i tēnei rā, kua pua wai, ngā moi moi a ao koutou mātua tūpuna. Nā reira, teiti me te rahi, tamariki mokopuna mā, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, kia ora no mai tātou katoa. Nā wai rā,
Ki tēnei rō pua tō i rō hau pūpū hō nenge nenge e mātangi rau e ki mai nei. Kara mai ki o tātou mātua tipuna, ko haru mai i tō tātou tahi, i tō tātou tahi. Ki konei rātou. Kau e pēnei ko hare mai tātou, anake. Engari rā, ko puto mai o tātou mātua. Rā nō rei rā, karanga mai, karanga mai. A karanga mai ki roti i tēnei whare. Tēnei whare e ki mai o nō te karanga. Pē haru. No Māori tēnei whare. No Māori. No te Māori. O koe tai mai a Māori. Koe tai mai. E tika rā me mihi rā tātou. A ki a rātou mā. Ko hinga hinga. A tai noa ki o tātou pakeke. Ka re harumai ai tēnei rā, te mea hoki i kongaru rātau. Kongaru rātau. Me ki, ah, ka hinga e tētei kura, ka tū mai he tētei kura. Ah, ni kā tātau, ni kā tātau. I ana mai tātou ki te whakatikatika. Ngā hua tanga e pāhana ki a tātou, te iwi o te wairoa. Mai i ngata, mai i timikara, mai i Māui pō mare. Koe rā tātou. Ana mai ki o tātou, kau mātua. A tai o ki a tātou. E nga rida, me ki, ka te hari kua te ngākau, ka tai mai tēnei rā. Tēnei rā e ki mai nei whakahire hira. E nga rida, ka tai mai tātou, ki te whakatika, ngā he, e pāna ki a tātou. Nā ki mai tēnā, te kōhuru, te whāna kō, a e nā ahua katoa. Ko puta mai tātou, ko puta mai tātou. Nō reira, a mihi mai ki a tātou, mihi mai. Te mea hoki ka atu āhua tau maha na taku ngākau. E nga ri rā, kai te whakahirihire taku ngākau. Ko putu mai tātou i roto i tēnei rā. Nō rai rā, kā reo tōro ngā kōruro. Kā tōro ngā reo tōro. E hi, i rong o te kōru o tātou mātua tipuna, e hi te teitei o ngā kōru o te hupe, te tangi hoki. A kōru o tātou, e whakahoki mai, e rā wā koutou. Nō rei rā, tēnā koutou, tēnā koe e te minute, te uru rō, tēnā koe, tēnā koutou. Ko puta mai koutou, a mō tonei tako o tātou. Uru aki kōru rō, ki a tātou hoki, ko te hau kai. Tēnā tātou, tēnā tātou. He te kōte ngā kau i kite, i a koutou. Haru mai, ngā hua o rātou mā. O tātou mā tū. Tēnā tātou, tēnā koutou katoa. Ko puta mai i tēnei rā. A ki te honere, ki te tau toko. A tēnei mahi o tātou i tēnei rā, ki te tautoko. 
Nå er det hun i nå, hun i nå i to tatu nei whare a tēnā koutou. A tēnā koutou. A tēnā tatu koutou. Pinne, pinne! Can I thank all of you for, some of you have come from such a long distance, having got up very early this morning to be here for this very important gathering. When you came into Parliament, you may have thought it was Grand Central Station because there are so many people coming and going, including, unbelievably, the Masons. The Grand Masons are in the Great Hall of the People. So. But uh, uh, we've had a very busy day in Parliament uh, today. The House is sitting in what are called extended sitting hours, and there have been three bills that have been debated. Uh, the, the first one was the second reading, of the Hiniuru Claim Settlement Bill, and then we had the first reading of the Naitarangi and Napotiki Claim Settlement Bill, and the first reading <coughs> is still going on of Te Awa Tupua, the Wanganui River Claim Settlement Bill. And it's occasions like this that <coughs> just brings it home, and it was, I thought, very, very well said uh, by the uh, MP for Titai Tukarau. Kelvin Davis this morning, he said he often comes across people who moan about treaty settlements. And so he normally sorts them out by saying, well, before you start moaning, just look at the facts. And when you have a morning of treaty settlement bills followed by uh, this particular ceremony, you just realise that it's so important for New Zealanders to know the facts because every settlement is unique uh, but every settlement reflects a failure by the Crown to act justly, to exercise its powers in accordance with the rule of law, to act in accordance with the principles of the treaty. And while the particular circumstances are unique, uh, it's also important to say, uh, oh, this is an important settlement. Well, every settlement's important. <coughs> every settlement's unique in the, in the real sense of the word. Every settlement turns on its own facts. So Kelvin's quite right. When you think of the Wanganui River, for example, those people have been seeking justice through petitions to Parliament in every court of our land for well over 130 years. And they never relinquished, never voluntarily relinquished their uh, leadership 
and their guardianship of the, that great river. And so it's so important for people to know the facts. And I'm going to say something today uh, in my speech about the particular facts uh, which have led to this settlement and to why this is such an important settlement, not only for the Hawke's Bay, but also for New Zealand. Can I make a very special mention of some young people who are here today, some students from Hawke's Bay Intermediate. Welcome to Parliament. Hastings, sorry. I don't think you were, no, do sit down. I don't think you were expecting to be part of a treaty settlement uh, ceremony, but it's great to have you here. Um, toward the end of, of, of last year, uh, I uh, signed a deed of settlement with Heitoa Takatini, and some of you will be members of Heitoa Takatini, but it's great that you're here today uh, with uh, your local MP, Craig Foss, and uh, Mecca Fightery is here, uh, and it's great that you are witnessing this very important occasion. Uh, and as I say, it's one of a number. They are also very important uh, for the future of our country. As has already been mentioned, it's important to acknowledge those who are not with us today to witness the outcome of years and years of hard work, of courage and commitment. And it is thanks to their efforts that we're in the position that we are in today. We remember those who have suffered the grievances first and foremost, and the grievances were so very, very serious. We remember those who initiated these claims, and we remember those who carried on the claims for the iwi and the hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairoa. They are all in our thoughts today. It's already been mentioned, but I also want to mention it. I want to acknowledge Paola Fonga one of the founding members of what is now Tatira. Another founding member, Te Ariki Mei, also needs to be acknowledged. He passed away earlier uh, in the last year and is not here to witness this milestone. I want to mihi to the Tatira negotiating team, Tamati, you're there to John Fana, for the tremendous work that you've put in and that they illustrate, you know, when I first met Tamati Olsen, uh, he was very, very busy in a particular government department, <laughs> and he illustrates just what happens across the motor when it comes to negotiations. People do their work Monday to Friday, and then down tools everything and go and work for the Iwi in the evenings or at the weekends. And it's a tremendous commitment that's required of Iwi negotiators, and I really do acknowledge and thank you for all that you've done. One negotiator I particularly want to mention for, because she's tough, she's principled, uh, and uh, you take her on at your own risk, is Pauline Tangaroa. Uh, I, I just want to say, Pauline, I know that you had a very bad car accident last month, and yet a week later, a week later, she left her hospital bed to attend to an important hui and I want to acknowledge her and thank her very much uh, for her leadership. The negotiators have represented the iwi and the hapu of Te Rohe of Otau Te Wairoa extremely well and have challenged the Crown on every occasion to come up with the best possible settlement. And I acknowledge the pragmatic decisions the negotiators have made over their redress this has included their focus on the use of statutory instruments and relationship-based redress to achieve their goals rather than uh, spending their resources on vesting cultural sites. I particularly acknowledge the drive of the negotiators to revitalise the social and economic circumstances of your people and the strategic way in which you've approached this with the Crown agencies by developing a framework to collaboratively improve services in Wairoa. Can I acknowledge uh, John Harbord for his role as a chief negotiator and those of my officials who supported him during the negotiations. And I particularly want to acknowledge the former Chief Crown Negotiator, Pat Snedden, for all the work he did in the earlier stages of negotiations, uh, and my ministerial colleagues for their support. As I'm often fond of saying, people say, oh, you've got the settlement. Well, actually, 
I'm nowhere without Bill English as Minister of Finance for obvious reasons. He holds the purse strings. Uh, and the various ministers of conservation have been very supportive as well. And I also want to thank the Wairoa District Council and the Hawke's Bay Regional Council for their contributions to the settlement. The grievances of the iwi and the hapu of Te Rohoi o Te Wairoa are grounded in the loss of the vast majority of their rohe, of intense military campaigns and socio-economic deprivation. The foundations of these grievances are that the Crown did not take Te Tiriti o Waitangi to the Wairua Rohe, so the Iwi and the Hapu had limited opportunity to consider whether or not to sign it. The Crown did not always adequately survey the blocks it purchased or fully investigate who had customary rights to them, nor did it set aside adequate reserves. <coughs> The outbreak of the war that began with the Crown attack on Christmas Day, 1865, and the resulting severe loss of life and property. The iwi and the hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairoa, who opposed the Crown in this war, were very unfairly labelled as rebels. In April 1867, some Wairoa Māori agreed under duress to cede 42,000 acres to the Crown. Some people from the Iwi and Hapu who did not consent to the session had their interests effectively confiscated. In 1875, the Crown acquired 178,000 acres of land near Lake Waikere Moana by exploiting confusion about the legal status of the blocks. Since the 1870s, the Crown has compulsorily taken more than 500 acres for public works purposes from the iwi and the hapu of the Wairoa Rope. Every settlement involves the dreaded Public Works Act, I have to say that. By 2001, nearly 90% of the iwi and hapu lived outside the rohe. Many of those who remain suffer from very various uh, serious social and economic deprivation. This settlement is going to be the fifth largest settlement in the history of treaty negotiations. The total value of the settlement is $100 million. It comprises commercial redress transfers, a cash payment, and an on-account payment. The commercial redress consists of the right to purchase 50% shares in two forest companies that will respectively own and manage the Fororata and Patunamu forests. There will be a right of first refusal for 174 years over a number of Crown-owned and housing New Zealand-owned properties, and the option to purchase land bank properties that are held currently by, by the Office of Treaty Settlements. There are also a number of sites of cultural significance which are now covered by statutory instruments to ensure that uh, iwi and hapu of te rohe o te wairoa are consulted in future on issues which affect them. This settlement is distinctive in the way it makes use of relationships and agreements with agencies as redress. Tatira has carefully considered the benefits available to them through relationships with Crown agencies, such as the partnership agreement with the Department of Conservation. As part of treaty redress, Tatira also has a statutory commitment to enter into a partnership agreement with Te Uruwera Board. This agreement is to ensure that the interests of the, ha the, the iwi and the hapu of Te Rohe o Te Waiwero in respect of Te Uruwera are considered and taken into account. Unique to the settlement at the local level is the establishment of a joint board with the Wairoa District Council to control and manage reserves and a tripartite relationship uh, with the Wairoa District and the Hawke's Bay Regional Councils. 
Tatera is also developing a unique framework as part of the settlement, a social and economic revitalization strategy. And through this, the Crown is going to work with Tatera to identify opportunities for partnership to fulfill their aspirations to improve the social and the economic circumstances of your Rohe. The government is committed to settling all historical treaty claims, and this agreement is a step closer to a final settlement of all treaty claims for Ngāti Kahanunu. I'm sure your former chief executive would be pleased with that. <coughs> the Crown acknowledges that this settlement can never fully compensate for the loss and prejudice that you have suffered. <coughs> we don't kid ourselves by, by pretending it can. However, I believe the settlement package brings you several steps closer to realising some of your goals. It brings with it substantial financial redress as well as relationship-based redress that will give the iwi and the hapu of Te Rohe o Te Wairo a greater input into decisions uh, and issues that affect them. Reaching the stage where you're ready to initial is a difficult process. It does require perseverance and courage and sacrifice. These settlement negotiations began in 2012 and you and those before you have exhibited those qualities in abundance as you reach this milestone. I hope you feel proud of the settlement package. I think it's a good one and it does include some innovative elements. I now know that your attention is going to be focused on undertaking the ratification of the deed of settlement as quickly as possible to allow your people the opportunity to consider and approve the particular package. Our joint attention will then turn quickly to signing the deed of settlement and I look forward to doing so very soon after completion of ratification. So once again, welcome to Parliament. Thank you for all the effort that's been put into the negotiations. No reira, tēnā koto, tēnā koto, tēnā koto kato. <laughs> Minister Finlayson, thank you very much for your speech. <coughs> Member of Parliament Craig Foss, Tugi Tugi, Kia ora. Mika, our Member of Parliament for Ikarua Rafiti, Tinaqui. And our Minister for Māori Development, Te Ururu, Ahakoko Weheatu, Katika Mimihi Hoki Kiaia. First and foremost, I'd like to convey the sincere apologies of our lead negotiator, John Farnger, who could not make it here with us today. Unfortunately, his paid employment mm. <laughs> is calling out to him. And we acknowledge that his employer has <coughs> many days off to do the work that he's needed to do for us. And his employers called on him today to do some work for them. So he, says, he sends us sincere apologies, but we were talking on the phone together at some ungodly hour this morning, as we usually do. And his thoughts are definitely here with us today. First of all, I'm going to ask our negotiators to stand up. Carwin, 
Carmen Jones, on behalf of Te Wairua Tapu Borau 2, Lillian Tahuri, Ratokorima Ahine Manuhiri, Jonina Symes, Ngāti Rākai Pāka, Rangi Manuel, Tapu Borau 1, Walter Wilson, Whakaki Nui Arua, Pauline, just to wave your hand up, Pauline, uh, Pauline Tangi Ora, because we've already been mentioned for all my wahine. Right there, I've got to I want to ask you to put your hand Oh, sorry, Richard Nia Nia. My sincere apologies. Richard, sorry, Richard. Richard Nia Nia for Waito or Waikari Moana. And it's through the efforts of this group of people over the last three years where they've given of their time and of their energy, often having to take time off work without pay to come down to Wellington to fight with officials, to beat Tohe with officials, come back and fight with us, <laughs> but in, all along pulling us forward progressing. So we really do need to acknowledge their efforts and they're the reason why we are here today to sign off on their work, for them to sign off on their work and in doing so giving us permission to take this deed of settlement and our trust deed out to all of our beneficiaries wherever they may be, for them to make the ultimate decision whether we accept or whether we don't. <coughs> and definitely from Te Tira Whakaimi or Te Wairua's point of view, we think this is the best settlement that we can get. Because we have been open all along, and as the Minister alluded to, Treaty of Waitangi settlements, they're not fair, they're not just, they're political compacts. <coughs> they're agreements between us and the Crown. And so with that in mind, and that's a hard thing to accept, but it is what it is. And having said that, we should acknowledge that we have a government, we've had governments, who have at least been willing to enter into that forum. Many other countries around the world where indigenous peoples have suffered, they have not been as lucky. So here we are today, having reached this political settlement, uh, this political compact, and initially in the deed of settlement, and signing off not on just on that three years of work, but 14 years since the initial Wairua, Wairua, Wairua working group came together. We gave it that name because we couldn't uh, agree on the Maori name. <laughs> so we will be safe, we'll go with the Pākehā name. <laughs> so we came up with the Wairua, Wairua working group, and as was mentioned, we were lucky that we had some real kaumātua around us, not saying there aren't any real kaumātua here, but we had some real kaumātua around us, Charlie Kapini, Pā Paura, Te Ariki, who challenged us to come together, who reminded us of our whakapapa and our honunga to each other, and reminded us that our nawe is with the crowd and not with each other. And those have been constant messages and principles that we've held on to throughout this whole journey. Yes, we've had our ups. Yes, we've had our downs. Yes, we've had our fallouts. But we've always agreed to move forward together. And that's the important thing to remember throughout this whole journey. So I want to thank everyone for coming down today to witness this ceremony. And as I said, all this does is now give us permission <coughs> to take the deed of settlement out to the beneficiaries who are the ultimate decision makers. And as the Minister has said, 90% of them do not live in Te Wairua. The Crown agreed that they thought there was 26,000 beneficiaries. We know we breed like rabbits and we estimate around 38,000. <laughs> I think there's 10,000 metis alone. <laughs> so we're 
we've got a hard job ahead of us now over the next couple of months to go out and reach out to as many of them as possible. Kia kite au mihi mea he tika te rā whakatau ki a kui mā koroma e hara taku toa i te toa taki tahi engari taku toa e toa taki tū. And we're going to need everyone's help to do their bits in doing that. Uh, kia huri aki ki au koutou o te krauna. We do want to acknowledge the efforts of Pat Sneddon. Pat was a great man for this job. Very principled, very challenging, but he'd done his role very well. And he left huge shoes to fill, with which John Harvard has picked up very well and carried us through to the end game. We do note it's been a revolving door in terms of Crown officials. The Ministry of Justice tends to burn out its peeps. <laughs> Having said that, we do know we've had stability, constant stability on our side. <laughs> same Māori, same faces, same kōrero, same minister. <laughs> but the efforts of all those officials, we're very grateful for. Yes, we've accosted them on occasion, we've bullied them, we were bullying one just before we came over here. <laughs> We've done all of those things, but the officials have kept coming back and doing their job. It speaks to the, the professionalism, <laughs> to their belief in what they're doing, and to the commitment of the Crown to get through this process. So we'd like to acknowledge all of them, not just one of them, but all of them, for what they've done. Um, and finally, Yes, we, we must remember those who are not here with us. This journey actually started in the 1980s across Whitewood, and there were many pre-attempts at trying to resolve our treaty claims. Then we had new words thrown at us, new Crown policy back then. Not your policy, Minister, other policy. We're told we're now part of an inquiry district. They were told you have to form a large natural grouping. All foreign words to us. We know about Whakapapa, we know about Phenoma, Phenoma Tana, Manaki Tana, Arupa, all of these things. And so, in coming together to resolve our Treaty of Waitangi settlements, and not only resolving them for us, but most certainly <coughs> all of those have gone before us. We're lucky here today we have some named claimants who were original named claimants back there in the 80s. I think of our man over here who got up and spoke on our behalf. He was there at the beginning, Walter was there at the beginning for Whakaki, and I'm sure he's wrapped, he's over the moon, that we're finally bringing an end to this. So I do remember them all. I'd um, lastly like to pay homage to my wife. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> She's got a neighbour asking me, where are you going again? <laughs> As I'm packing my bags and leaving to go back home. Without her support, her understanding, I think I would have had much more grey hair than I have now. But she has been a real beacon of support, a po tuara for me. And I'm wrapped that we've come to this stage. So I don't want to prolong this part. Let's get on doing the deed. Then we'll go back across the road and we'll have a kite together. Our teeth are done and cementing all of this. No reira, kuri noi tō tātou whare, nei rā te mihi ki a tātou katoa. Te whakaimi e mi nei, e kimi nei, i tētahi huarahi. E whai uranga ai a tātou tamariki, mokopuna, mō ngā rā, mō ngā tau, kai te heki. Te ngā koutou, te ngā koutou, te ngā tātou katoa. Te tiro ki whakapuna.
Can I ask the negotiators to come forward, please? Thank you, Katie. We'll just do the first three pages. Thank you. 